What's up? Guys, welcome back to the Redneck TV channel. And today, we're using my old GoPro. For some reason, I almost spent a thousand dollars on the newest GoPro. Just use it three times and it not turn on anymore. So we're rocking it with the Hero 7. Pretty sure it's gonna randomly freeze on me though. That's why I quit using this. Got this microphone hooked up to it. Hopefully the quality's decent. Y'all can see the title, right? Damn ducks in my yard. Get the ass in the field. No, no. Get your ass in the field. Come on. Dumbasses. Look, turkeys are retards. I hate turkeys. And there's another one over there. As long as the ducks don't get hurt, little sweeties. But yeah, y'all see the title. We'll get into the deets on that in a minute. I got some shit I need to burn. Bought some stuff for the bedroom. Had to get rid of these, bro. Let me see if I can show y'all. Mouse shit in there. I'm not sleeping on that. We actually got a bed frame now. We also need to burn this trash. Oh, in this pile. And I burn it. Burnt everything out of the house from the remodel in here. All the walls, insulation. Old flooring, carpet. This used to be an eight foot deep hole. And this is what it is now. So for a while longer, I'm just gonna keep burning everything in here. And then eventually bring a tractor out here, scoop all the ashes out, rent a dumpster or something, put them all in there, take them all, and push the dirt back on top, flatten this little spot out. Should look pretty nice. Hey. All right, we got that going. Jump in the fire, do it, but you won't see a difference you got rock down there and sand all down there how the hell is there still a turkey out there i swear they just spawn hate turkeys fuck check this out man we got a couch in here install the ceiling fan light and honestly i'm i'm cool with the color right <laughs> but somebody says it looks like american cheese so they insist on repainting it i already started cutting in the corners and everything apparently that's cream that's just white trying to mud that little entrance there make it look like it does in here see that one's pretty smooth looking also don't remember if y'all know what it looked like down here before. Got it straightened up a lot better than it was. <coughs> All right, y'all, we'll sneak peek to the next video, finally. So yeah, that's what next video is gonna be about. Finally gonna get my baby going once again. I miss driving her. See if AutoZone sent us the right one. I was just gonna get a junkyard axle. I just went ahead and got a brand new one. AutoZone guy, pretty cool dude. He knew me from my channel. So I could just keep shredding these axles and bringing them in and bring them in over and over again. He's like, yeah, but after a while, they'll probably notice something's sketchy. Oh yeah, beautiful. We put it all together, messes up again. All we gotta do, hit up all the zone, pull up with the receipt and the broke axle. I'm excited to get her going again. All right, you ready for me to actually talk about the title now? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah. After I get done talking, I'm gonna show y'all living room. Your boy started the shit again, mainly because I got a real job now and I was playing Fortnite one night, popped one in. I was just cracked out of my mind. I've been buying cans ever since. So why don't we just bring back the old tradition? If you partake in the usage of smokeless tobacco, not saying you should, not cool, but if you do, you might as well increase your risk of oral cancer with me, right? So if you ain't got one in, Fucking mosquitoes, dude. Pack one with me, y'all. Dude, I can't with these fucking mosquitoes. I'll freak the fuck out. We're gonna move. Hell yeah. Today, you're wondering why I got like a little granny stroller. Like dog, why do you even own that? Get treated with that schlong, dog. They had to use that thing to get back to the car. No, not actually. Yeah, guys, you read the title. Got a real job now. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of y'all are surprised. This is the first time I've had a job since I worked at Ford, which is when I was 18 years old. Six years without a job, aside from YouTube streaming and all that. And man, I ain't gonna lie, I do like having a job. Waking up early every day, busting ass all day, and then going straight to the gym, and then home. Because a lot of people, they'd be like, well, dang, if I was a YouTuber, I'd go to the gym every day too. I'm up on a roof 48 hours per day, 200 degree sunlight. That's my workout, boy. Just to be able to do some pretty hard physical labor. Not the hardest, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not working in a sawmill or nothing. But to be able to do that and still go to the gym, not bitch and moan about being sore, makes me just feel better than the average man, you know? I just feel like it's more motivational to people, mainly to y'all. But yeah, the reason I got a job, as I've been saying, YouTube doesn't like my melanin deficiency. Do I have a melanin deficiency or do they just have a melanin overproduction? <laughs> Little shit like that. YouTube doesn't like it, obviously. Soft, pussy-ass world we live in today. They've decided to completely shit on my revenue. Even back in the day when I was getting this amount of views, 
shoes, I was comfortable for sure. Still was comfortable. I couldn't live off of this, but I want to be able to buy shit for this YouTube channel to make entertaining content. I don't want to just wake up every day, record a video. Yeah, man, well, today we're mowing. We're trimming the lawn up with some shears. My mower broke. Stupid shit. I'm going to be able to buy shit for my truck now. I'm going to be able to rebuild it, mess it up for a video, rebuild it again. I love making videos like that, and I'm pretty sure y'all like watching. Yeah, what I'm doing, I'm working construction right now. It's actually funny how I got this job. You know, I've been wanting a job for a little while, but I wasn't really looking. I just felt like eventually the opportunity would present itself, which it did. I went to church down here. Pastor, I was talking to him. He's asking what I did for a living, and I really don't like to just be like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. Famous YouTuber. Yeah, thousands of people adore me. <laughs> I just don't tell people about that shit. Try to keep it to myself as much as I can. I said, well, what do you do for a living? He said, oh, I do construction. And then I kind of just paused for a minute. I was like, oh, dang. Thought she was about to offer me a job. And then he was like, well, I mean, we can't see what I can do, blah, blah, blah. Took down my number and everything, and I didn't really think anything of it. Sure enough, next Saturday rolls around, gives me a phone call like, hey, man, gonna start you out. Just show up here at this address. We're doing a specialty siding job on a lake house. And yeah, it's just me, pastor, and then sometimes some Amish folks work for us. It's pretty chilled out. Expecting to pull up there, and like these Amish people just work in circles around me. So I was like prepared to kick ass. And still, to this day, work my hard. I mean, why the hell have a job and not do your absolute best? Get the same amount of money for doing less, but why the hell do that? And within two weeks, dude already gave me a raise. I mean, he's a fair guy. He sees what I'm worth, everything. Bring my own tools, got my knowledge. Yeah, we're just all over the place. Different houses. Yeah, it's crazy. Got a job. <laughs> also still do Twitch streams at least a few times a week. Play a video game in there. Sometimes I just talk to chat with the camera. And y'all really been hooking me up on there. Big love to all y'all. Really means a lot to me. If y'all want to check them Twitch streams out, Twitch is right there. Give me a follow or just add my Snapchat. I always post on there before I go live. Just wanted to get a job because want to be able to make good content for y'all. YouTube's always going to be a part of my life. Most of y'all that watch have been around me for many years, watching me grow up. Really, I love y'all guys. Cheese easy as that sounds. Aside from God and family, y'all are the biggest part of my life. But yeah, that's really all, all I gotta say about it. Feed these damn ducks so they quit quacking at me. But yeah, folks, a lot of y'all suggested me to open a Patreon account, so I went ahead and did that. You're not obliged to. You know, you can watch these videos for free, but if you want to support me, my endeavors of making entertaining content for y'all, Patreon right there. All support's appreciated, man. All right, I'm gonna show y'all this living room. See? It's painted in here now. I was talking my shit saying, oh, it's not cream, it's just white. And you can kind of tell it's more cream colored next to this drywall mud. Couch is here, right? I'm just gonna corner mount the TV right here. Figure that'd be the best spot for it. Aside from drywalling this in and cutting a new doorway here, putting the outlet here and putting the TV there. It's probably what I'll end up doing in the long run. All right, you ready to see this? Completely abandoned my plan. Ended up just moving the couch over here to the left further. I'm gonna put a chair right here or something. I actually have a living room now. It's crazy. The entire time I've lived here, I haven't had any like hangout spot here other than the kitchen. Now, got a couch, TV, tickled to death. Floor ain't done yet, of course. Like I kinda wanna just start an argument with my girlfriend just so I can be like, I'm sleeping on the couch. Love it. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. Thank y'all so much for watching. It really wasn't a video, it was just kind of a little update about what the hell's going on in my life. Thanks for watching anyway. If you wanna support me, leave this video with a fat thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.